Hello, my name is Dr. Jerry Brandt, and this is the revelation that God gave me, a prophetic word for 2016. You know, this is the year of manifestation. In 2015, God gave me a word, in case you check that out. It was a, a year of preparation and acceleration. We particularly saw in September a real acceleration on the earth of a lot of things. The four blood moons, uh, the Shemitah, the end of the Shemitah, the beginning of the year Jubilee. A lot of events happened in September. So it was a very crisis time on the earth. Now we've moved into another area. And the Lord showed me that this year is the year of manifestation. And in that word manifestation is the word man. Now the Lord showed me that this is the year of man on the earth. First of all, a revelation of the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ. But He is called the Son of Man in, in, in the book of Revelation. We're going to be looking at some verses that the Lord also gave me for this year. It's a year of God putting in the sickle for two things. Now the sickle speaks of, of harvest. It also speaks of judgment. So the first sickle that God is revealing to me this year is the sickle of Revelation 14. And that's verses 14 through 16. Let me read these verses to you because these are really critical for this year. Uh, then I looked and behold a white cloud and on the cloud sat one like the Son of Man. Remember that. The Son of Man having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud. Thrust in your sickle and reap. For the time has come for you to reap. Wow. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. That's Revelation 14, 14 through 16. Now why does uh, Revelation call Jesus here the Son of Man and not the Son of God? Again, it's because this is a year of manifesting on earth the Son of Man the humanity of Christ, through His body, the bride of Jesus Christ. We are going to be the manifest sons and daughters of God. This year, I believe there's going to be a new authority on the earth. There's going to be a new revelation, declaration, and now manifestation. Those, remember, that's the progression that God gives in, in revelation. First is revelation of what He's doing. Second is declaration of that upon the earth. Now is the manifestation of that. You're going to get what you declare in 2016. What you say with your mouth is going to be manifest. So you're going to be living out the manifestation of your declaration which came by revelation. I, I, that's what the Lord showed me for this year. So what you've been declaring over the past year or two is going to begin to manifest this year. Year of manifestation. And there's going to be a new generation that God's raising up. A new generation of released authority that's going to begin to manifest on earth. A younger generation that God is handing off the baton to. And, and we're going to have an authority that we haven't seen since the early church. And these chosen ones that have been hidden away by God. See, God is beginning to remove a whole group of people off the front lines. And He's beginning to raise up another generation. Hidden away ones that have been trained and equipped and prepared for this manifestation. Most of them you've never heard of. Most of them have been out of the way. They've been secretly trained for reigning by, by Jesus Christ Himself and have gone through their issues to prepare them for this time on the earth. First of all, is a season of harvest. Now, the second sickle is really, boy, the Lord gave it real clear to me. It's the sickle of God's wrath. You see, the man of sin is going to begin to be revealed. He's called the Antichrist. It's called the mystery of ungodliness on the earth, the mystery of iniquity. And the mystery of iniquity is going to begin to unfold because man, you see, the cup of, of man's sin has come to fruition. God calls it the grapes that are ripe now on the vine that are going to be put into the wine press of God's wrath. And we're going to see things this year in 2016 that we've never seen on the earth. I believe there'll be activity in the nat natural realm and nature. We've already seen floods like we've never seen them. We've seen fires like we've never seen them. I mean, these are not just happening locally in, on the west coast of the U.S. and California. They're happening all over the world. Things that we've not seen before. So th things are coming to fruition. 
They're manifesting. It's all part of God's divine plan. And uh, this God showed me out of Revelation 14, 17 through 19. Here it is. Then another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, and he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came from the altar who had a power over fire. Remember that. Power over fire. And he cried with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. So the angel thrust in the sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and threw it into the great winepress of God's wrath, of the wrath of God. You see, God has allowed a shifting in the heavenlies in 2015. That's already happened. That shifting, I believe, heavily happened in 2015 in September and October. There was a shifting in the heavenlies. Now it's going to manifest. And, and the Lord would say, listen, listen for the cry from the north and the east. That's what the Lord told me. The cry from the north and the east. And it's a regathering of ancient powers on the earth, principalities that are going to gather for battle. We're already beginning to see the beginning of this among the Muslims. The Shiites and the, and the Sunnis are, are beginning to, to be, get in crisis. And, and these are, see, one way, way that God destroyed the enemy is they'd attack each other. You know, America and Russia and these nations aren't going to have to attack the, the Israel, Islamic nations. They're going to attack each other. And this could well be the beginning of the seals that we find in Revelation 6, where a third of mankind, or no, a fourth, I'm sorry, a fourth of mankind dies in some of these great events on the earth. And this could be the beginning of that. And I believe largely that's going to happen among the Islamic nations. They're going to begin to fight each other. We see Iran already beginning to, to talk about attacking Saudi Arabia just over the death of this cleric. I'm telling you, 2016 is going to be a manifestation of the earth of fire. And that could be warfare. That could be bombs dropping. That could be even atomic warfare. You see, God promised us, even though we have a lot of floods, that the earth is not going to be destroyed by flood. So I say to you that the word of the Lord is watch the two angels with the two sickles. One is a time of harvest. We're going to see more souls come to Christ this year. And in action evangelism, our ministry is a part of this great harvest. And we're so grateful to God that he's allowed us, to allow the kingdom of God message to go forth on the earth. This is the season of manifestation. Get ready. Get ready. Because what you have been revealed and declared is going to manifest this year. God bless.